With Ron Tugnett of the Campfield 73s, and Ron, sixth and final meeting uh, between these two teams, how would you uh, characterize this series to date? Well, uh, pretty much every game's been real tight. Um, I would expect that with, uh, you know, the, the Braves bring the, the best out of most teams with their effort, and uh, everybody knows that you have to match that effort. And, um, you know, every game's been real close. There's been late comebacks. There's been overtimes, and, uh, and I don't uh, expect it to be any different tonight. The last time we talked, uh, just before, I guess a little bit before the break, when I asked you how you thought your season was going, you thought you, were, you guys are underachieving a little bit. Uh, since that time, uh, blow 7-9 and nine in 16 games in the new year. Yeah, I think that uh, before that, if you look at our record before those, those uh, 16 games, I think we had won 10 out of 11 or something, and we blew by a lot of teams. And... Um, we're starting to think uh, maybe we fell in love with ourselves a little bit in the room and we got away from what was uh, making us successful and um, you know at the end of the day you have to show up and compete uh, every day and uh, the system stuff doesn't mean anything if you don't have the work ethic to go with it so there's been times where I've uh, been really disappointed with our effort and it's resulted in giving away points and uh, we're in a spot right now with uh, we, we had ourselves in a position to take a run at fifth and that's pretty much fallen to the wayside. And I think that, um, you know, the next seven games for us, uh, we want to get that sixth spot. Now we have the Braves right on our butts. We have Gloucester on our butts. Uh, uh, you know, Smith Falls is still a few points ahead of us. So it's a dogfight now. And uh, I think that we've given away some points that have put us in a spot where other teams can take over on us. So we have to respond today. Two big positives, one consistent, your power play through the year. I believe you're second at the, at the, uh, at the moment. The other thing that's noticeably a big improvement uh, is your road record. Uh, it's, it's improved significantly, Ron. Yeah, I think uh, you, as over a season you start addressing the areas you have to, to make better and you, you make it aware to the players. And I think that uh, you tell them, look at our record on the road. It's, it's, it's not acceptable. So. Uh, we've been able to find ways to dig a little deeper there, and our power play has always been something we could lean on. We, even with some of our top players out at times, we'd have been able to, to still find a way to score goals on the power play, and uh, hopefully that will continue. Yeah, NHL Classics this week. Uh, once again, the, uh, the 73 shot performance against the Boston Bruins was on, and uh, again, ironically, 73 shots, Campbell 73. So you had this planned all yeah, along, Ron. Yeah, that was it, for sure. <laughs> for sure that was it. So, no, I got caught up watching it the one night. It's a good thing it's a, it's a compressed game, and it goes by quickly. Uh, but uh, the one night I was sitting there just flipping through the channels, and I went, wow, it's on. And it's been on a couple more times since then, than that was last week. So uh, they must have a poor repertoire of games to play. <laughs> uh, maybe it's time to move on from mine. And one of the things is noticeable goaltending uh, styles have changed. Yep, definitely. Uh, I love looking at my gear that I wore back then. I, you know, I like the fluffiness and the pads and uh, the deer hair and just seeing two pad stacks and splits. And, uh, you know, it's not as effective as today's goalie, but, but when you made those big saves, the people in the, in the crowd got excited about it. And it just doesn't seem like you see those big saves anymore because the goalies are always in such good control and they're always in position. What do the 73s need to do tonight to be successful? We've got to play hard. Um, we have to play harder. Uh, our one-on-one -on -one battles, we have to win. Um, the, to me, the game of hockey is five, gone, five guys on the ice playing as a unit, uh, but it, it all comes down to winning your own one-on-one -on -one battles. And the more battles you win, uh, the better chance you have of winning. Hence be out tonight for you guys. Billings out tonight for the Braves. Well, two elite guys. Uh, I think that, um, you know, so I guess we're even. You know, I didn't know Billings was out, so... Uh, now I feel better that we're even. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for giving me that info. I, and, well, yeah, just cheer cheering me up. So, um, but that, that doesn't take away from, uh, as everyone says, the old cliche is give someone else a chance. And uh, there's always eager guys to take on some of that responsibility. So sometimes those guys are more dangerous than the ones that we're actually playing. Ron, thanks again. As usual for doing this, really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Ron Tugnett of the Campbell 73s.